Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this fisheye text animation in After Effects. It's a very popular style of effect, you might have seen it in Instagram Reels and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and in order to create this effect, first we are going to create a new composition. Let's call this one main, width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 pace and duration you can pick whatever you want, just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition for our text. Let's call this one text. Rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now inside the text composition, let's just quickly type our text. It can be anything. I'm going to just simply type text for now. And let's just scale this up. Also, we can align it using the align panel. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's go back to the main composition and we are going to drag our text comp inside this. Now, in order to get this effect, there are a couple of effects that we have to apply. So the first one is warp effect. Let's search for warp and under the distort, you will get this warp effect. Let's apply it onto this and warp style. We can change this to fish eye and the bend amount. I'm going to set this to 100. Now, the next effect that we are going to apply is optics compensation. So let's search for optics comp and let's drag it over here for this one. The field of view, we can change it to, let's say something 130. So right away you can see we are able to see some fisheye sort of effect and this effect will come out very nicely once we have like added bunch of different text. Now if you want to have like more of a rounded shape then you can increase this field of view. So now you can see now we are getting more distorted view. If you want to have less then you can just lower down this value to something like that. But for this example I'm going to stick to 130. Now let's see how you can add more text to make it like more interesting. So over here we have our text. Let's quickly change this and I'm going to type this and let's just change its color to white also let's lower down its size we are basically going to create a bunch of different text copies and just place them here and there and i think this looks good let's place this one over here now we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this let's type is and this one we can make it like quite big and also let's change its color this looks good and just place it wherever you want i'm going to place it over here now we can duplicate this text and just place one more over here we are basically placing random text let's place it however you want let's place one over here let's duplicate this and let's place one to this side and let's duplicate this once again and let's place one over here now we can also change this text color and i'm going to make this green as well so we're basically done with our text placement now we are ready to animate this out so in, if i go back you can already see we are getting the fisheye effect now in order to make this like more impressive what we can do is we can animate them by using a null object so let's add a null object now we can select all of these text layers and just parent them to this null now we need a guide to have a reference so that we can place our text always in the middle so for that let's just simply select the rectangle tool and we are going to just randomly draw a shape and let's just align it to the center of this comb like that we can place it at the very bottom now all we have to do is just simply select this null object and let's press p let's add a keyframe now in the beginning we want this to be in the middle so i'm going to like place this inside this rectangle you don't have to be precise like you don't have to be exactly in the middle you just need an estimate that your text is in the center now we can zoom in and let's move like 15 frames ahead now we can place our second text which is is let's move 15 frames let's move our next text just keep on repeating this step till you have covered all of these. Once again, we can select the first text, copy and paste it. So now we have created this sort of animation. Now we can improve this more by selecting all the keyframes. Let's press F9. You can go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different, then make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Now let's select all the keyframes and just change your curve to look something like this. And now if I go back and if I press play, you can see we have created this effect. And in case you feel like this is too fast, then you can like select all the keyframes, hold on the alt key and just have a little bit of more spacing between them to slow them down. Now let's see what we have created. So we can hide this shape layer. We don't need to see that. Now if I press play, you can see we are already getting the fisheye effect and our text are appearing. I think that this is too fast. So for that, what we can do is if you want to stay stick on to a particular text. So for example, I want it to stay a little bit more on to this eye text. Then you can just simply copy this keyframe. Let's move a little bit and just paste it. 
then make sure that you move all the other keyframes a little bit ahead as well then i want it to stay a little bit longer over here so just copy it and just paste it over here so that it stays over there let's do the same thing and make sure to move these forward as well let's make sure to copy this and just paste it over here and at last we can go back to its original core position let's copy and just paste it this is going to be our final position now if i press play you can see our fisheye effect is ready and now we are able to read each and every text you can also improve this by adding some motion blur so just enable all of these layers and make sure that this motion layer for the entire comp is selected now if i press play along with the fisheye effect we have this very nice smooth motion blur which will make your animation look a lot smoother now if you want to exaggerate this effect then there is one more thing that you can do so let's go back to our text composition let's select this we can also animate its scale as well so if i select this let's press s and let's add a keyframe now in the beginning we can like increase it quite a bit so that this text is like extremely big something like that now we can go back to this text and let's just set this to 100 and let's go over here and let's just increase its size back again and now we can place the fish in the middle and let's go to the next text which is this one so we can like scale this up and just place it over here we are basically exaggerating this effect by adding a little bit of more scale just copy and paste it and let's just place the text over here now we can select these keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor and we are going to add the same sort of easing that we did over here there you go now if i go back let's hide this now if i press play you can see we have the same effect but now it is more exaggerated so for example you can see the text is more distorted so in the same way you can play around with the scale if you want or you can just leave it to the standard effect which we just created so in this way you can create this kind of fisheye text effect which looks very impressive and you can use them in your instagram reel documentary edit just to emphasize any important text that you have so that's it for this tutorial and if you want to get the project files then those are available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.